Welcome in, everybody, to another episode of 410 Sports Talk. I'm Glenn Martin. I'm here with my co-host, James Haskell, and we're, at, we're announcing a old new face, or a new old face, I guess we could say, uh, coming back to the Ravens. So, Jimmy, let them know who we got. That's right. Round, uh, round three for Pernell McPhee. He is making his, his way back around and coming to the, the Baltimore Ravens again. As you guys know, he had his initial stint with us. We signed him to a one-year deal last year, and now we've decided to bring him back. Um, you know, he was hampered by injury, which seems to be the theme of his most recent uh, stops in the NFL, whether it's us or somewhere else. But I'm really excited about it. Before I dig into it, Glenn, give us your initial reaction on Pernell McPhee being a Baltimore Raven once again. Yeah, I was pretty happy. I mean, uh, you know, I guess we'll talk first about what he brings on the field. You know, in the first six games, he had 19 tackles and three sacks, which at the time was second on the team. Um, so he was... He was certainly bringing a little bit of a spark to us on the field. And then off the field is really, I think, even more valuable what he brings. His leadership to the young guys, his, his uh, you know, as he says in the media, his way of teaching these young guys what it is to be a Raven, how to play like a Raven, that bringing that dog to work every day, embracing that grind, uh, which, you know, some of these young guys, when they're coming out of school, they don't know what it is to be a pro. So it's nice to have a big dog like him around. Uh, who was with the old guard, who was with the Ray Lewis, the Terrell Suggs, the Haloti Nadas, who, who knows what it – you know, he understands what was built here on defense in Baltimore, uh, and he can pass that down to the young guys. Uh, so I, I'm happy. And also, even though the contract details haven't been released, I'm sure it was on a very team-friendly deal. I'm sure he's not breaking the bank. So it doesn't prevent us from adding any more players at any position, even, even edge. Uh, so I, I think it, and, and it adds competition to the room and competition, you know, as John always says, iron sharpens iron and competition only makes people better. So I'm, a, I'm pretty excited about bringing Purnell back. What, what are your initial thoughts? Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm really excited about it as well. Uh, we kind of talked about this a little bit off air, but it's a really under the radar move as far as national news goes. Uh, yeah. you can tell that news is slow when a one year signing of Purnell McPhee makes like the news headlines if you will on like ESPN or NFL you know NFL.com but look I think it's a great move for us I think it's another genius move by Eric DaCosta and uh it shows the the intelligence of our front office to go after a guy that has all those built-in things that you mentioned culture you know he's he we he's a known commodity we know what he can do and he fits in perfectly he knows the defense there'll be no learning curve especially in a year where obviously things are going to be hampered based on COVID-19 so I think that it's it's a great move for us. It's a win-win for both for Purnell and for us. Um, we'll be, we'll see what the terms are, like you said, but I'm not concerned about them at all. Um, so we'll see how it goes. But I'm I'm really excited about it. I, I can't complain. Nothing negative to say about it. Is there anything negative you can think about as far as this deal goes? Yeah, I mean, well, the only thing that you know people are going to point to is that he hasn't played a full season since 2014. In the last five years, he's missed 24 games. Um, so he's got. He's got issues with durability. Now, we can certainly, as a coaching staff, the Ravens can uh, – Wink Martindale can, can make sure he's not overused and, and put in for too many snaps, which I think last season he kind of was. Uh, and maybe that was out of necessity because the room wasn't as uh, deep and as, as talented and ready to step up uh, like I think they will be this year. And, and he was kind of forced to play early downs as well as pass downs. Now, I think this year – they're going to look to him to, to hopefully just have to, to come in and help out with the pass rush. I mean, I think that's their idea, uh, th their idea to, to use him. But if you, were, if you were in a situation where you were desperate and you needed a guy, he's there. I mean, you, you don't want to overwork him because you don't want to risk injury, obviously. But if you need him, you know, it's good to know that, that a guy like that is there. But the one thing I will say that I'm a little bit worried about, I, I don't know if worried is the right word, but – I'm aware of is the fact that McPhee, although this was a triceps injury, this wasn't a lower extremity, so he should still have his cardio and he should still be able to keep himself in some decent shape. Uh, he certainly wasn't able to build much strength, I'm assuming, when you're coming back, you're rehabbing a tricep, you're focused on the rehab. So I don't know how much strength training he was doing for the rest of his upper body. Um, but So his heavy hands that we're all used to may not be uh, quite as heavy this year, but but who knows? I mean, maybe he attacked his rehab like crazy, and he's, he's, he's going to come back stronger. I mean, I guess that's the optimistic view, is that he's going to come back stronger than he was before. But uh, that's the concern, that was he able to spend much time improving his body, or was he just strictly rehabbing uh, the injury? 
Right. Well, you guys let us know what your opinions are. Obviously, Glenn and I are high on the signing. While flying under the radar, we definitely think it's important as far as our depth goes and our defensive mindset. Look, I think one thing that can be said and that's undeniable, the Ravens have, since John has been the coach, we've always done a good job at depth. I'm not going to say we've always had the most star-studded you know, roster. Which right no. now, we have a lot of stars. It hasn't always been that way, but we've always had quality depth. Uh, yeah. And so I think this is another one of those moves. Uh, as f- I'm not saying he's just going to be a death piece, but he'll definitely, you know, he'll definitely be in that rotation. So I'm really excited about it. You guys let us know what your opinion are, what your opinions are. Uh, leave, your, <laughs> leave your comments below. Let us know if you agree with us, you disagree with us, if you like the signing or you don't. Um, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. See you.